Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, I'm just gonna be sharing this um, extension or like a revisit of how you can uh, turn CSV data of latitude and longitude of a place. Uh, as you can see here, we have um, airports in US. And I think I talked about this in the past, um, but as an article on my blog post. So you can take a look at this one. Uh, I'm using animation notes and spare chalk to actually put all this uh, Pikachu on the on the world globe. Uh, so basically I started with the uh, latitude and longitude data and this one, you can grab it. There's a lot of places, but I think this is a good one. Um, just go to here and download airport CSV, so comma separated value. It's uh, The table looks like this. Uh, the important data is the the name of the place and then this location in the world. So with the latitude and longitude um, information, we can then kind of uh, just load the CSV into SpareChalk. Here I'm showing with SpareChalk we can easily use the data and then lay out in the XY coordinates uh, using SpareChalk. But what I did later is actually using animation nodes because back then I was really familiar more familiar with uh, animation notes, uh, script notes. Um, I can do it today using SpreadShot. So here I'm using the globe, uh, the map from Wikipedia, and then using the this uh, functions that I think I grab it from somewhere from the Stack Overflow or something. So this function will turn latitude and longitude into uh, something that's kind of points uh, in 3D sphere. So yeah, uh, should be pretty straightforward and then you can put Pikachu on top of it. But um, here I'm going to be showing you the same process. Basically, I converted the script nodes from animation nodes into SpreadChalk. So with SpreadChalk, we are using the this script node light. This one not the bottom one, this one is easier to use. So with this guy, we can specify the inputs and the outputs. So the inputs gonna be the size, uh, the radius size of the globe. And then you have the longitude and latitude, which will come, uh, which will come as a list, bless you. And we're gonna go down and then you can see this is same exactly uh, the same uh, functions to convert latitude and longitude based on uh, the information provided. So this is gonna be doing it for a bunch of lists at the same time. So this why we have, uh, you can see here there's a nested one. So this part may be slightly tricky in SpreadShop. Nested two meaning, meaning there's a there's not least, but uh, if, if you go up with the nastiness, it's go up in the level. Where, where you go up in the level, you have a bunch of items in the list. So you can, by doing that, you can actually um, use function like this in Python. Um, I'm kind of zipping the latitude and longitude and then, and then just pipe it down. So we get the positions of XYZ um, that we can use here in 3D. Here I'm actually already using line. I'm using line. I can use anything like a cylinder or something. It's gonna be like pointing directly into the airport positions. So let's go just try that. So it's pretty easy. Once you get that, it's pretty easy. Uh, this is the points before I did anything else to it. This is like 198 points. So you can see just the points. And then what I did here, I'm joining the list and then use it for matrix normal. So pipe in the locations. I'm using the locations and the normal value and specify the track, uh, the tracking orientations and the up axis. That way I can get the matrix transformations that I can use to place um, cylinder. Uh, you can also use a uh, Pikachu or 
Susan head in this case I have Susan head but this is gonna be pretty heavy I think oh actually that's pretty fast that's really fast actually that's amazing so we can place Susan head on the on the world globe there whenever there is a, an airport on that particular positions we can place Susan head well it's too small let's make it like that so there you go one Susan head it's uh maybe the orientations you can just change it here but you get the point it's gonna be a lot faster if you are using instancing but you can see it's pretty it's pretty accurate okay so there you go I'll give you the node setup it's actually on my github but you can read the whole articles and then uh, the github I think is over here you can download the setup and you can also see my other setup that's using the stretch of monad so instead of playing with the level inside script node you can also use the monad and factorize the information uh, it's, it's like <clears throat> currently the way, the way I think of it we have this latitude longitude functions and it's working for two input value but if we have bunch of lists then we need to vectorize the function the function needs to work for those bunch of lists so that's why I'm using monad but if you keep going you can see the one at the bottom the one that I just um, demo just now so there you go that's a quick look at how you can kind of a uh, convert CSV data of latitude and longitude and convert it into uh, uh, something that you can visualize so it should be pretty interesting case um, hopefully this is useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time bye